for me, um, hard training is also if I go outside because outside I crimp as hard as I would never do in a gym. Um, and yeah, it's also much more fun to me. Uh, but I focused on putting the skills from outside into plastic training um, like a month before the comp. So I've been to the gym quite intensely now for one month, I would say. This year I've climbed a lot outside. I mean, I've always climbed lots outside once I, um, when I don't have World Cups. But this year I went to Spain and to Ticino quite a lot. Uh, when I was training here in Tivoli, then I would warm up normally, do a couple of boulders with friends and maybe add in a session and eventually also do a little bit of a session on a compass board. When I climb outside, I usually spend all day outside. Um, when I climb in the gym, it's usually about three hours. Because if it goes over three hours, then I get too tired and yeah, I'm really done when I climb three hours straight. <laughs> usually it is an all-around game. Uh, in Tivoli, the problem is that I can't focus on slabs because there aren't any slabs. Um, but when I was in Germany, training with the German team in Köln, um, there were lots of slabs and we kind of focused on slabs. But usually if I have my daily routine, then I would just try to make up some World Cup style boulders as much as I can. And yeah, just try and climb them. Sometimes I try to make up flash boulders, which um, obviously I try to flash. Um, <laughs> And that's kind of preparing for the mental game a little bit, but honestly, it's very different if you sit behind the stage and um, yeah, have to concentrate to climb a World Cup boulder out there. Usually I warm up about half an hour or so, and then I try to make up difficult problems, to build them myself or yeah, build them with my friends, and then we would exchange them and climb them. I would say it takes about an hour uh, after that, I go to the campus board and do a couple of um, exercises on the campus board which takes about 20 minutes or so. So we're down to approximately two hours, <laughs> one hour 50. And after that I might do a f session, either if it's very close to the comp then I might focus on a flash session. Um, so this means I would build a, a, a boulder and try to flash it right away and climb four or five boulders like this with a, lot, a long break. If the comps are not yet very close, then I would session on more boulders. Um, that means that I would climb one boulder five times without much rest in between. Then I would rest for five minutes and do the same again. This for about four or five boulders, depending on how I feel. And um, basically that just gives me a little bit of endurance so I can have enough rest so or I can recover fast enough because if you imagine that you only have five minutes you have to be yeah able to recover completely so theoretically that should help. Innsbruck isn't that high really we're on 500 meters right now but Vail is definitely the big difference I can always feel my lungs if I climb in Vail it's crazy I keep breathing so hard and the difference in the comp is that you can't really make a lot of um, attempts so you really have to be very focused and um, very precise with your attempts. So I really have to rest well in between tries. I think I have a couple of weaknesses, but um, not one specific one. I mean, usually I was, I tended to not climb as well on slabs, but I tried to evolve and I think it's going pretty well. But yeah, one weakness would be a slab, I guess. I actually don't do any weight sessions. Um, I just don't enjoy it at all. And yeah, that's why I don't do it. But cardio wise, I really enjoy to go mountain biking. Maybe you can see in the background, there are <laughs> lots of mountains and it's very scenic and nice. Yeah. And I enjoy it a lot. And also in winter, I go ski touring because obviously it's just, in my backyard and yeah I want to take full advantage of that. I've prepared quite intensely for this event. I mean my injury is quite some time ago. Um, I would say that it's been healed up completely by the beginning of 2015 so I'm very optimistic my finger is perfect and yeah I'm having fun climbing.